Hello everyone and welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about the delightfully dark comedy Pinocchio Vampire Slayer. Yeah. <clears throat> the uh, story starts out with a prologue, which is a very hilariously abridged version of the original Pinocchio story, and I just laughed my ass off, and I'm sure many of you will too. We then immediately uh, cut afterwards to Pinocchio using his, uh, you know, signature way of killing vampires to kill vampires, and we <clears throat> learn of his, um, and over the course of the book we are uh, told about um, how vampires are trying to take over this town, and nobody believes Pinocchio for some stupid reason, because, like, yeah, the vampires turn to dust after he kills them, but, I mean, do you think he, he, if he was lying, his nose would be going you know, growing big, and uh, there'll be all kinds of times where, like, he would say, like, I'm gonna do this, and his nose would grow, or, like, he said, like, I'm gonna kill all of you vampires, and his nose would grow, or whatever, and so, like, I don't really know, but the point is, like, obviously he's not lying, you know, but everyone is still like, we demand evidence, even though you have a magical nose that will not grow, uh, or that will only grow when you lie, we're going to still demand evidence. I know, I, either I guess they could be thinking he's mentally insane or whatever, but... Yeah, no, no, that's still... <clears throat> anyway, um... We're eventually told via flashback about how you know, vampires came in, attacked their home, and took Geppetto away. And that's kind of the, re the main reason why he wants the vampires all dead. And, um... And, uh, after... <clears throat> And eventually we're shown the uh, one panel panel that I can pretty much use to pretty much describe probably this entire book. Boom. You know, this one uh, panel here pretty much, I pretty much probably just showed you like how um, like half the humor and like 90 and like almost the entire reason for its existing, you know, kill, Pinocchio killing vampires with his steak nose. Yeah, yeah, but even despite this, they actually they do get pretty creative with it, you know, and with and they give us some uh, you know nice humorous moments and um, and uh, yeah and um, and um, that you know the characters are really great too. You know, you have the cherry, the carpenter, or no, he's cherry the lumberjack. You know, you have uh, the fairy god person, whatever, who's, uh, you know, also helping Pinocchio out with their magic, and, uh, yeah, there's plenty of twists and turns, and, um, and though, again, you know, there's still, uh, like, some flaws, and, of course, the majority of the thing revolving around one joke, majority, not all, <clears throat> you know, I still think it was actually really, really well, you know, and pretty funny. Especially, again, the little pro prologue uh, version of the original story that they lay out. Anyway, um, overall, I give this my personal comfort level recommendation of a 4 out of 5. Comfortably recommended. It's an okay, fun little book with some fun jokes. And it's just a fun, decent, okay read. Not fantastic, but it's okay. Which is kind of exactly what I was sort of at least expecting when I was when I picked this up. Anyway, um, next time I'm going to be taking a look, or uh, another look at the I Zombie comic book franchise with You Vampire. Six Feet Under and Rising, and Repossession. Until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome by going out and <clears throat> supporting your local library with your with checking out, donations, and whatever else I can't seem to think of. And have a nice day. Oh, and uh, you know, have if you have a suggestion for me or for other viewers to read, you know, uh, leave a something in the comments section below. Oh, and again, have a nice day.